Again, what I'm smoking here, guys, is a Definition Cigar. This is a Black-owned company. Again, the name is Definition Cigars. It's a Black-owned uh, black company. And they have these made and hand rolled in Nicaragua, okay? This is a medium body, medium to full, nice and smooth. I don't know what I can pair this with yet because every cigar is not to be paired with scotch, okay? You got bourbon, uh, you got whiskey, you know, you got cognac. So there's different, different cigars. And what I like about this is each of their different cigars have different color bands. And some people, while they smoke it, they just put it on their finger. It's just one of those things. It defines the cigar. So I like the name. Again, it's a black owned company, okay? So what else? So we talked about uh, slightly about in investing in investments. And this is my thing, uh, guys. Let's talk about debt. I know, don't turn off your cameras. Don't turn off your phone or your TV. People start to get very weary when we talk about debt. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I know we've incurred a lot of debt throughout this last year, going into 2021, when it comes to the coronavirus and then your everyday lives, okay? People wasn't accounting for, I need to buy two, three, four, five, six, seven masks. Oh, um, I, I might need to go get, you know, pay somebody to take the COVID-19 test. But here's the thing, your debt is still accumulating. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great time. This is a perfect time to refinance your house. Right now, I'm in the process of refinancing. Um, I qualify for 2.25, but for some reason, they're like, oh, in order for you to get 1.79, you need an 800 credit score. They only know that. Because <laughs> my credit score is around 750, 760. I opened up a new American Express credit card. So it went down some points, but it bounced back once my uh, debt to income ratio changes. But nonetheless, um, you need an 800 credit score. And some of them like you need an 800 credit score to get this 1.79%. But for you, uh, for those of you who own houses, um, if you've been in your house more than eight, nine months, please look into refinances because you're going to drop. If, you're, if you are any percent above 3.25, you will drop more than a percent. You will drop a percent or more if your mortgage rate is above 3.25. And why this is important, again, there is different ways for you to get money instead of going into debt. And if you get a cash out refi for your home, now this will be my last option because you are taking equity from the home, which lowers the house value. Even if somebody comes and appraises, it's just that that amount of money that accumulates for having a house for so long because you're making payments increases your equity. But when you pull out, okay, when you pull out equity, it lowers the appreciation of your home. But bump all of that, if you need the money, you need the money. So not only do you save money by refine, but you can do a cash out refi where you can take, you know, four, five, six, ten thousand $10,000 outside your house. Because if you need it, you need it. Now you shouldn't be doing that you shouldn't be doing that if you're just trying to get a pair of Jordans. You shouldn't be doing that if you're just trying to buy a dress. You shouldn't be doing that to buy some cool gadget or, or, or something like that. Now, here's another option. When you cash out refi and say, for instance, you get eight grand. If I were you, I will upgrade my house because a lot of people will take a cash out refi and they will use that money to upgrade their home because believe it or not, if you took out 10 grand, let's just take for instance, you did a cash out refi, you lower your interest rate so your payments are smaller and you let's just say for instance, you got 10,000 back. What if you put that inside of a bathroom? What if you put that inside of your kitchen? That's where the, you know, the money really goes. Um, me, I spent a lot of money in this garage putting stuff like that up there. You see that? And if I go over this side, I have everything hung on the wall, you know? So whoever gets this neck, even this shelf up here, you know? But someone's going to appreciate that. And I got the four epoxy. So you put the money back in your home and you also raise the value. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now to upgrade my bathroom, it only cost me 300 bucks. It was a, it's a guest bathroom, there's no shower. It's just the one with the sink, mirror, and toilet, right? You gotta excuse me as I enjoy this, this cigar. I know you guys want instant information, 
Stay with me, I'ma get there, but I have to enjoy this too. That's smooth. So when you're doing this, it took me $300 to uh, upgrade my bathroom, right? So I got the, the, the light, the mirror, what's going on? You about to go to bed? We'll take a shower with elastic. Kids. Um, anyway, so what I did was, you know those three, hold on, let me show you. I'm gonna show you what they put in these houses, right? Like, give, me, give me one second, I'm gonna show you the light that they come, it, it don't matter, this house is only five years old, okay? I'm the second owner, but I'm gonna show you what I put in there versus what they had in there. Give me one second. All right, we got some people who left. Now, granted, this is what I'm talking about when you need to upgrade your home, okay? This is a cigar talk for those who are just joining. This is random talks about finances and all different types of ways. There's not one way to talk about your money and how to save money. So this is what they put in your <laughs> They Now, granted, somebody will say, that's nice. That's because they never lived in a nice house before. And that's it. And I'm not, I'm not shaming anyone. It, it's just a matter of... When I first moved into my first house, I thought this was pretty cool. Like, oh man, that's brushed nickel. You know, they got the little frosted glasses. That's really nice. You would think that's really nice, right? And they got this where you mounted and this, that, and the other, right? Okay. So I changed those lights out and I put these lights in. You see what I'm saying? It's a much cleaner, sleek look. Picture when you spent the night at the Marriott or the Hilton and you went inside the bathroom and you're like, oh, that looks nice. Like one of these lights, okay? So that 300, that 300 that I spent upgrading that bathroom probably made that bathroom more valuable. That bathroom is probably worth now a thousand dollars, okay? Just kind of give you a sense when an appraiser comes inside your house, he's looking at all the upgrades, he's looking at um, you know, how did you take care of it? Stuff's in the floor. Believe it or not, they do a thorough check to put an appraised value on your home. So it's important to do little upgrades like that to keep your house updated.